Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're looking at the Malone Runway 2 bike trunk mounted bike rack here at eTrailer. This is a 2 bike version where it carries 2 bikes. Now this also has a version that has 3 bike cradles on there. So depending on how many bikes you have or are planning to carry, you can choose the 2 or the 3 and you can find them here at eTrailer. So the Malone Runway is a simple trunk mounted bike rack. It doesn't have any extra frills that you may not be interested in. It's really easy to put together. You just pop some things on and then you can mount it to your trunk and then you're ready to carry around two bikes. So it is a great option if let's say you do not have a hitch on your vehicle or you cannot have a hitch and maybe a roof mounted bike rack does not sound like the best option for you. This could be a good option. So this does not have individually moving arms, it just has one arm that goes and is connected to the support arm on the top, then it has the support base arm. So because of that, this does have a different fit depending on the vehicles you're going to put them on. So I found that this fits best over sedans and because this does have that arch, even if your sedan has a spoiler, this will probably be an okay fit for you. On the cradle arms, you're going to find two sets of cradles. So one set on each side. And let's take a look at the cradle itself. So this bright red portion is a hard rubber, which also has a cushion to it. So that's going to help cushion your bike's frame just to keep it supported and comfortable as you are driving around just to prevent those extra scuffs and scratches but it's also going to provide a little bit of extra grip as you are transporting your bike. Holding your bike's frame in place is this sturdy rubber strap. So this goes up and over your frame and it secures over by this tab on the end. Notice how the excess part of the strap is just tucked forward. So that's going to provide a little bit of extra traction as well as an easy way to pull it back out and over for when you want to dismount your bike. At the end of each arm, you're going to have this nice plastic reflector, which is going to help keep you safe on the road and help drivers behind you know how far out your bike rack sits. Now, depending on your bike's frame, you may need to use a frame adapter bar in order to create a level surface for your bike. So if you do have a step through bike or a women's bike or a children's bike, please take a look at our frame adapter bars here on our site. I actually tried to put a small children's bike but found that we did not have enough clearance between our arms. So from one end of the arm, from the furthest point, on one side to the furthest point on the other side, we have a distance of 16 and 7 8 inches. So this comes with a stabilizing strap, which I use to hold our front wheel into place. Since our cradles do not have an anti rattle cradle, I do recommend using the strap and wrapping it around your bikes. That way you can reduce the sway. So to use it, it's just a cam buckle strap. Just wrap it around maybe your front wheel, your bike's frame, as well as the frame of the bike rack, just to hold everything in place. And now we're gonna dismount our bike. So all you need to do is pull the strap out towards you and then leave it upwards away from the bike. Then just lift your bike up through the arms and then you're ready to go on a bike ride. Whenever you have a trunk mounted bike rack, there is going to be some contact with your vehicle. That's just something you're going to have to work with if you do not want a hitch mounted bike rack. So let's take a look at the way this is mounted to our vehicle. We have three sets of straps and then we have two support arms. Of course, depending on the fit of your vehicle, you will put your straps as well as your hooks in different locations. But here on our sedan, we have the two top hooks on the top of our trunk. We have the side hooks on the side, not on the taillight, but above them. And then we have our bottom hooks underneath the trunk. So those bottom hooks have different options depending on your vehicle. So instead of the hook, you can also attach this other hook and this goes down and underneath your vehicle. So if you do happen to have a hitch or a better mounting point underneath your vehicle, you have this as an option. Other than the straps and hooks, you also have these two support arms. So these have the rubber pads that go around the support arm and onto your vehicle. So what I did is I pushed it out a bit towards the end. That way we have a good angle for our bike's cradles. Also, before you place those support arms, please try to wipe down your vehicle as much as you can. 
trying to get any of that dust and dirt out of the way because you don't want them between your bike rack and your car. That way you can minimize the scratches and scuffs that will occur. On each side, you're gonna have these quick release arms. So you just pull that up and you can see how those hubs open. And then that will allow you to just fold this down and then use those quick release arms as well to tighten it back into place. Now remember that when you do fold those arms down, this is only for compact storage. So that way you can store it inside your trunk or in your garage without it taking up too much space. I do not recommend driving around with this bike rack with the arms folded down because then you do lose that top part for support. As a simple bike rack, this is what you get without all the extra bells and whistles that you may not be interested in. Now, if you are interested in locks, you can get a cable lock and that's gonna wrap around your bikes and help deter theft. Now we have it fully loaded up with two bikes. So when you do have two bikes on there, just keep in mind that this has a weight capacity of 33 pounds per bike. Also, when you do have two bikes, you are gonna try to have to figure out the best position for the two. Just make sure that your pedals and your handlebars aren't colliding with the other. Also, you can use the stabilizing strap that comes with this bike rack just to hold them together and try to reduce the sway as much as you can get it to. And then after that, we can take it out onto the test course to see it in action. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. And that was a look here at our Malone Runway 2 back of the car trunk mounted bike rack here at E-Trailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.